bitches. <laughs> Bitch, I love that. And that's how we started it off, man. Niggas going eight shit swinging out here, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to the whole New Orleans movement, bro, man. You know, but you know it's got bars first. You know, you know how we get it popping. We got that other shit get ugly when you got a what? Nightwall. Full ugly can shit. of fucking <laughs> Mardi Gras, <laughs> man. <laughs> you see this shit? This yeah, shit amazing. Bro. You see this shit cute, bro. But anyway. Bro, first we're going to talk about the St. Louis trip, bro. We going out there. What is March 10th? March 10th. You did. Shout out to Bourbon Chicka Chase. You did. We going out there and do our thing, bro. I got about a million rounds ready to sell. Bourbon, I'm a bourbon. Really punch a nigga in his fucking mouth, dog. For real. Tell them niggas be on the lookout for that shit, bro. You ready for that shit, my nigga? Man, like I said, the first squad, they kill, they kill shit. We the mop up. Yeah, we the mop up crew, so we coming there to fuck shit up, dog. We ain't gonna be as deep as we was the last time, but that's good, though. That's good, bro. I'm telling you, cause we gonna put St. Louis in our pocket, bro. Real shit. You dig? Know? But shout shit out to everybody. Up, shit get, shit gonna get mad up, bro. I'm gonna start that shit off like, hey yo! <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, dude. But man, I wanna tell y'all something, bro. Got bars, ugly face the movement, New Orleans Battle League, everybody, bro. You did. We about to bring this shit back to the roots, bro. For real. Like I don't know if y'all know this shit ain't fun down here to me no more, dog. I love battling, don't get me wrong, you dig? But it ain't fun no more. That's why I don't battle in New Orleans no more. It could be the fact that I battle like 15 niggas down here already. I mean, right. that might have something to do with it. Right. Who about the one of those? Really though? I got money on me. Who about, who about the one of those? And we I gonna do them St. Louis. in the ninth wall, you know? I got 500. What's that? Y'all don't see this man, bro. Yeah, why Nigga will ball your life away, and if he don't, he might punch in your fucking mouth. And if he don't, he might punch in your mouth. Literally. <laughs> I know he will. <laughs> nigga live for that, that shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Stay away from that guy. Shit get ugly when you around this nigga. Shit get ugly when you fuck with Gup. Shit get ugly when you fuck with Gup. Gup might fuck you up. You dig? You know, he laid back. You dig? I talk my shit, I get it in. But yeah, man, on, on, on some real ass shit, though. Man, I got $3 on me, son. Let's put that three up right now. What's that's 300 <laughs> pennies, dog. But that's how you look at it. Three dollars. We gonna, whoever won't get it popping with a one off <laughs> after we come back from St. Louis, after we come back from St. Louis, you hear me? We getting it popping, dog. We like I said, we gonna we gonna hold our host our small events like we used to. Y'all remember? I remember Professor versus L Gutter, the, the the M Gutter versus Double M and M uh, Double M versus Marcus Aurelius. Y'all remember them shits, man? I get y'all that. Y'all niggas was the original niggas to start that shit down here. I was that second wave of niggas right behind y'all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and this man came out the dope blazing. So, yeah, they fuck with that nigga talking about it. was that yeah. ugly way, nigga. So. Night walk, bro. You already fucking know, bro. But yeah, bro. And so I'm. This this is our message to y'all. Anybody who won't get in there, if you ain't got time to be waiting three and four months to battle a nigga, if you won't get it popping, holler at us. You hear me? Holler my nigga T dot. Damn, how the fuck I do that without shouting out them god boys, nigga, bro? T swag. What the fuck was I? T swag. Ugly Face, Double Limb, Days, Jack Tripper. You already know from them who? Five. From them five. You dig, man? Who else? We got my nigga New Era, the lyricist, and my little brother Slaughter, man. You already know, man. My fault, y'all. You dig, but yeah, bro. Hey, oh, yeah. To the, to the new generation, y'all be humble, bro. Humble. You dig? I, I don't want to say it, but I, we opened the door. For, for battle rap down here, bro. Niggas been doing it. Off camera, on audio, all that, but nigga don't know about that shit, bro. Nigga don't know nothing about that shit, you dig? Y'all be humble, bro. You dig? I say this about the niggas that did that shit down here as far as New Orleans, Professor, Double M, L, Gutterville, Got Balls. They was the niggas doing it down here. I get BC and ATM and they shit because they went out of state. But down here, Y'all was the first niggas to open that door down here. Really though. You know what I'm saying? So I give y'all niggas that. And shouts out to Romalis. Shouts yeah. out to Romalis. Cause if Romalis wasn't at the shop paying for some pussy, lap dances. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, if if I ain't had the opportunity to rap the Romalis when he was over there paying for 
pussy. Then this, then this gutter bill versus God boss thing wouldn't have never happened, bro. And then shouts out to L for being cocky and losing. Twice. <laughs> Shout out to gutter bill. Shout out to gutter bill, bro. You did. At the end of the day, you did. It's like we gonna call it a sip, a sibling rivalry, now, you did. So we all, we all trying to get united, but at the end of the day, that's our distant cousin. You know everybody don't really fuck with the distant cousins all the time. You know, you know, you come to a family reunion, hey, y'all got some steaks or whatever. But besides that, son, we 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 pretty much a big family. You dig? It ain't it ain't so much that we had each other neck, but at the end of the day, we gotta keep this shit pumping, you know? So like I said to you new niggas, be humble, bro. That's all I'ma say. If you take that out of the context, is because you feel some kind of way about it. Ninth wall, ninth wall, ninth wall. You got something you wanna say, bro? Huh? Huh? Say it, bro. Speak now, forever hold your peace, bro. So, you know, y'all everybody know I was gone for what? About a year now? For the year? A little something, bro. About yeah, a year. Listen. Yeah, about a year now. You know, I didn't have my baby, but you know when my baby turned about six months? I'm back on that, you know, I'm back on that boss thing. So, you know, anybody been talking shit about me, had something to say about me, you know what I'm saying? You know, just let me know. And it I'm, is what it is. And I promise. <laughs> I promise I won't write none of her shit. You don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't, bro. You won't hear no controversy about that, bro. You know what I'm about already. She she ill with it. You're you digging the I'm fact that she been she been laying low for the longest says a lot, bro. Girl got some shit up her sleeve, bro. But I don't need nobody trying to call out to pick no fights when she ready. She ready, bro. And her first battle gonna be a one off. Yeah, we're gonna do that bitch in the night wall, probably by the Florida, anywhere. We might do it by Big Mama's house, we don't know. By my mama house, you heard me? Anywhere. Night wall, you Whoever heard want me. it. <laughs> Whoever fucking want it, bro. That's how we giving it up. But guess what? We're gonna have a lot more of these shits coming too. Like I said, we bringing it back to when the shit was fun. So if you got a response, if you wanna reply to this, please do. And guess what? We're gonna smash this shit, cause that's what we do. Yeah, then, so we next next episode we might bring sales. Controversy sales, bro. <laughs> yeah, then, I promise you I won't write this shit. But uh y'all oh yeah. Boogie versus Professor, bro. I gotta talk about it because them boys is creating a controversy like a motherfucker. Boogie my man's and I fuck with Professor, but son. Y'all boys gonna be at each other next, son. Boogie. Boogie. Fuck with you, my nigga. Bring that shit, son. Bring it. That nigga professor talking about born your fucking life away. And that nigga got a reputation for doing that, son. So, Boogie. So what happened to BC? <laughs> so what happened to BC? And don't son. ever try to make it seem like I'm fucking scared of battle BC. BC lost two fucking battles in a row, man. I told son, I one, he got his ass barred. He got oh, wait. And then he got slightly, we got, he, that was how he got punked? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw that. And that then. That happened. What's up? Yeah, I know LeBar test. Then I saw it. <laughs> and then uh, he lost by a technicality. I'm going to say a technicality because the nigga choked twice. Oh, fuck, the footage ain't dropping. Damn. I'm tripping. But anyway, I see that, huh? That baby Peyton, bro. I thought it was she did. That baby it's ugly baby face. <laughs> that baby. <laughs> she get ugly when your baby beautiful. That's crazy, son. That's the baby bars. <laughs> <laughs> we got Brooklyn. We got my goddaughter Brooklyn in the car, you dig? She chilling. We're Brooklyn. Zoe not. Brooklyn. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever. Brooklyn is swag, but. I bad a nigga for my baby in my arms for now. Huh? That nigga ain't about that. You ever lost to a nigga who had one arm tied by his back? That's embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, shit get ugly when you got bars. Shout out to the whole New Orleans Battle League. Shout out to Flatline, New Orleans Battle Zone. Future stars, nigga, we getting it poppin', you heard me? Nine World, we out this bitch. Bar.